God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So today we are celebrating sixth Sunday of Easter. And in our country, today in a special way, we celebrate Mother's Day. So to all mothers, happy Mother's Day. So beautiful day to celebrate Mother's Day. And when we think about Mother's Day, what comes in, the, in our mind? It is love. It is love. And in our readings today, the second reading, for instance, we hear this word love nine times. Nine times. When you go read it again, you can count. And in our gospel, about the same number. And now Father Gama is going to preach and talking about love and love again and again. So today you're going to hear it maybe 30 times or even more. And we talk about mothers, we think about love. Not love like that which we watch in the sitcoms about kissing or physical love. No, it is about God's love or God's care to his people. Our mothers are helping God on his creation to bring the offsprings in the world. So mothers are very connected to God in his, wor in his work of creation, in his love to the world. So today we celebrate love. God's love or God's care for his people and mothers show that to us as they nourish the life of the younger ones as they hold the hands of the young kids yes we're going to talk about fathers another time but today it is Mother's Day when I celebrate this day today I tell you one of the things that I really, really, really miss in my life is staying with my mom. That is the most thing I will miss always. My mom separated with my dad when I was younger. And since I was favorite of my dad, in their separation, he didn't like me to go to my mom so I stayed with my dad, and I'm happy I was the, one the only one child who had the time to hear the words of the dad who was passing after a few hours. He talked to me, the, first, the last words to, to me personally and to my family, even though I was younger. And then he died in 1989. After that, I would, though I was staying still in my, my dad's town, my mom was staying about 10 hours drive. I was visiting her sometimes. The only time I stayed with her for a long time was four months before she died in 2000. And I was very happy I was able to call a priest and he anointed her that gave me a lot of joy that I did it. But what I miss is now I wish I could stay longer in those four months to talk to her, to ask her some questions, to know more about her. I didn't have that time. And so now I miss that love we celebrate today on Mother's. St. Augustine says in his very famous book of confessions, let have I loved you, beauty so ancient and so new, let have I loved you. Lo, you were within, but I was in the external world, seeking there for you, and upon the attractive things you have made, I rushed Headlong, I misshapen. You were with me, but I was not 
with you, let if I loved you. St. Augustine lamented the fact that he resisted God even though he saw him. He resisted until he was grown up. After 30 years, then he recognized the love of God and then he spent some time. And he says, I wish I would have all the time of my life to know God, to remain in his love. So sometimes to us as well, we don't remain in the love of the people who love us because we don't dedicate our time with them. We dedicate our time in other things, in attractive things. As St. Augustine says, he was looking for joy on the attractive things of the world until later he recognized that, oh, I need to, to love God, to stay in his love. So St. Augustine today is reminding you and me to spend some time to dedicate our time with the people we love. You know, sometimes we say, I love my family very much. I love my wife. I love my husband. I work very hard for my daily bread and bring something at home. When we can do that very good, and we have to do that to find our daily bread. But I tell you, if we don't have time with our family, eating together, having time especially, praying together, we want to remain in God's love. So today, it is about love, friendship, and time. We cannot say we love someone if we don't dedicate our time with them. We need to dedicate our time with the people we love. And those whom we love, when we dedicate our times with them, they know that we do love them. And they will always would like to, to remain in our love. Most of the mornings, I, when I walk after morning mass here to our, to our rectory, I see the kids coming to church, to school. And then their parents, especially their moms, who say, I love you. And the kids say that back, I love you, mom. And in August, when those kindergarten are coming to school for the first time, even pre preschoolers, you kind of seeing sadness from the kids. When their mom says, okay, you can go now, I love you. Yes, I love you, mom, but they cry because they, oh, I leave you, mom. I have always been with you, and I have experienced that love with you. And now I'm going to experience the love of other people as well. So remaining in love is very important. And that means dedicating our time with the people we love. What I miss you, me today, I don't wish you to miss. I didn't remain with my mom for a long time. And I miss that, and I will always miss that. You too have to stay with your, those whom you love. Spend some time with them. Jog eat together, and more importantly, pray together. Jesus today says, remain in my love. And I have told you this so that my joy be in you and your joy might be complete. So our joy is completed when we remain in God's love. How can we do that? Spend some time with Jesus. Not only on Sundays at this Holy Mass, but also on adoration. Have some few minutes to adore Jesus, just you and him. Spend some few times. Read the Bible. Receive the sacraments. This is how we remain in God's love. And then, 
save other people as well. Sacrifice to those you love. Mother Teresa spent so much time and energy helping others who were going to die anyway. And when he, she was asked why she was doing this, she said, I have no choice. I am a Christian committed to, service, to serving Jesus. And Christ identified himself with the peep poorest of the poor. The choice of love demands that we accept limitations on our lives and the offerings in order to love as Jesus loved, to spend our times to help those who are in need and to dedicate our time with them. Today, I wish I could buy the roses to all mothers. And in so saying, I invite you, do that as a sign of love. And don't wait to love the one you love because once you do that, once you love them now, I, I tell you, you're going to say with St. Augustine, let have I loved you. I wish I could love you this way from the beginning. So begin now. Show extra dose of love to those around you so that you say the same words with Augustine. Let if I loved you. Let us pray today for our mothers, those living and dead, those who have gone before us. We say to them, mothers, we loved you in your time with us. And those who are with us, we say to them, we love you and we will show that we love you. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Happy Mother's Day.